Hi, I'm James Wiebe with CRU. We're showing you features of the Wiebe Tech Ditto Forensic Workstation. I want to show you how you can create an image of a source suspect drive using just the LCD interface on the Ditto unit. So we're looking at the home screen of the Ditto. Well, we're going to go ahead and create a uh, uh, image of a particular par partition that's contained on our source drive. So we're going to go down here and we are going to perform an action, which we select. We don't want to clone. What we want to do is image, so we're going to start that. It allows us to select uh, which particular drive we want to use as our source drive. And it allows us to select which particular partition we want to use. In this case, I've decided I want to select partition number 5, so I've chosen to change it to 5. By the way, I'm just going to back up here and show you that if you wanted to, you could select all of the partitions, of course. Anyway, number five is the one that we're after. We're going to take that one. Our destination drive is going to be uh, one of our eSATA drives, which is great. We only have one partition, but uh, uh, so we're good with that. Uh, we're going to use MD5 hash type, and we're going to hit the enter button here to start the image. There it is. It's off and running. We're creating an image of partition 5 from our source drive, and it's off and running. While that's happening, we're getting the same information up on the, on the GUI, which you can see over here. So it shows that uh, we're connected and logged into Ditto. The front panel is giving us exactly the same information as what we get on the GUI on our computer, wherever it is. This is also true in reverse. If we'd started the action from the GUI, then the front panel would be showing us the same information. It's finished uh, creating the uh, image. Now what it's doing is uh, doing a verify. So it'll be done with that in just a few seconds. One way that you could think about this is that the operation that's being performed from the LCD screen is being done by an investigator who's out in the field while the GUI is back in the home office connected through a virtual private network to the Ditto. We're going to use that, in fact, as an example. So the investigator in the field caused something to be imaged. Uh, back here in the home office with the uh, GUI, we're going to go in here now and take a look at the output. It's going to pop right up. We can open it up and then we can see the result of the operation that we just did. So something that we created from the control panel of the Ditto ended up being shown on the GUI wherever that was. So a lot of power easily accessed from the front panel of the Ditto and the same thing can be done from the screen of the Ditto through a GUI.